Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Thunder and Lightning podcast. I'm Thunder. I'm Lightning. Um, and today we have uh, just so much uh, news. Yeah, to talk so about. much going on. Uh, the Super Bowl happened, and we're going to talk about everything except the game itself. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a good point. Um, so, uh, yeah, before we get into that, uh, Lightning, how was your week? Yeah, so let, we'll briefly go over our weeks. Yeah, um, I don't, I, to be honest, I don't have much to say, so we'll. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, my week was, uh, I'll, I'll keep it brief, I'll keep it to the important stuff, was um, important. <laughs> I think that's a good one word to put in front of my week. Yeah. I did my interview for school, which has been like six months in the making. Uh, I don't think it could have gone better. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I really connected with the person I was interviewing with. Awesome. We, we, uh, seems like it went really well. Um, I didn't necessarily even have to play for them, which was oh. cool. Um, I feel like that was the big, a big deal. Yeah, no, I, I, I learned a song, and I was really nervous about it, and we talked for like an hour. Oh, wow. Um, but she, uh, she told me, um... Twice, as a matter of fact, uh, verbatim that I have mad guitar skills. So, oh, okay. So cool. I was, I was like, all right. <laughs> that's that's. I good like to the know. energy that this. Oh yeah, this no, it was. I was college really, uh, scout is putting out. She, she's a professor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and she, I, I was like, I'm, I'm really liking this energy. Um, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no, she, she said, uh, she's glad I, um. I decided to apply, and that uh, she thinks I could bring a lot to the to the curriculum. Nice. So yeah. Cool. Good. I'm yeah. g- I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that's going good for you. Thank you. Yeah. I. I, I that was a big uh, like a big worry, a big stress yeah. stress meter fi- all filled all the way up the uh, past couple weeks. It really has been, and my slate is clean. I have nothing else. I have to. I just sit back and wait. She said two to three weeks. I should nice have a definitive answer about because you, uh, if you I got, got like accepted. you got like Shadrach. You were like ah, now it's time to sit back and wait. And they were like, just kidding. Here's all this stuff to do. So now yeah. it's officially time uh, to sit back. Nothing. And wait. Yeah, nothing else I can do from here on out. Um, I've done it all. So that's where I'm at with that. I'll have hopefully I'll have an update about that um in a couple weeks. Um, and I think that's where I'll leave my week at. You know, other things yeah. happen. Some some good things have been happening. Um, but we got other things yeah. to talk about today. So yeah, thunder. I didn't, um, I didn't do much. Um, I'm still job hunting. It still hasn't concluded. I actually, I actually have a thing here for you. I just remembered. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, it just concluded. No, it hasn't concluded. Oh, okay. Um, I'm I'm still working on <laughs> do that. You want this then? Uh, sure. Yeah. There we go. Put that right there. Um. Yeah, so that's not interesting. Um, I I did successfully uh, 100%. I platinumed Kingdom Hearts 1. Nice. So if you want to hear more about why you shouldn't fucking do that, uh, listen to our video game podcast. I, I think I'm good. I, I didn't really okay. I didn't really do much. And I, I have – there's a lot of things that I'm really uh, excited to talk about. Um, so we'll move we... right, right into pop culture news. Yeah, Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, do, can I – can I start with the thing that I'm most excited about, or sure. do you want to do... Well, I think we should go... Um, if you're going to go first, I think you should go first, and then I'll do all my stuff afterwards, or vice versa. So you can go go first if you want. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So you have not seen the trailer for this, right? I have not seen the... <laughs> I. You can say it. No, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. They are making a Chippendale movie. Yes. But... But there's a lot of butts, okay. and they every single butt, are they little and cute? And they're little and, and cute, chipmunk like, and two D, except when they're not. Um, there's a lot of butts, and every single butt, every single asterisk makes this movie way better. Um, so it's not a Chippendale movie; it's a Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie, oh, which shit. is the which is the Saturday morning cartoon. Right off the bat, the thing I was the most excited about at first, the original theme song is in the trailer, which cool. is so they didn't redo it or remake it. 
Um, when you watch the trailer, it says John Mulaney and the Lonely Island. And the reason it says that is because the chipmunks are going to be voiced by John Mulaney and Andy Sandberg. Oh. The other dude from the Lonely Island, the one with glasses, Akiva Schaefer, he is directing the film. Oh, wow. He has directed films before he, of course, produced the Lego movie. They were a big, Lonely Island was a big behind the scenes part of the Lego movie. Um, this movie takes place in the Who Framed Roger Rabbit universe. The trailer wow. had Roger Rabbit in it, voiced by the same dude who voiced the, him in 1993's Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Okay? So the plot of this movie is that the actors who played Chip and Dale in the, in the show, who are called Chip and Dale, um, they are 2D, right? but all the people are live action. There's a scene in the trailer where they're at a club dancing. They're, they make a point of this. They're doing the Roger Rabbit with Roger Rabbit. And who's DJing? It's Paula Abdul and MC Scat Cat from the Opposites Attract music video. Wow. He is, of course, 2D animated, and she is de-aged because it's supposed to be like the 80s or whatever. Um, and the plot of this movie is it's 30 years later, uh, you know, Chippendale Rescue Rangers lasted for the three seasons that it lasted for. Now it's the future. Dale, voiced by Andy Samberg, got, quote, CGI surgery. So <laughs> he's photorealistic CGI, and Chip, voiced by John Mulaney, is still 2D. Now, their voices aren't all chipmunky, but I think there's a reason for that. So this, this was brought to my attention. Back in the day, Tress McNeil and Corey Burton they would perform their lines talking in slow motion. And then in post, they would speed up the footage, the, the, the audio, yeah. so that it sounded like they were talking at a normal speed with a high-pitched voice. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to be like, this is our voices without the bullshit. Oh, that would be interesting. Also, Tress McNeil and Corey Burton are going to be in the film because they, vo they didn't also... They didn't just voice Chip and Dale, they voiced Gadget, the female, and Zipper, the little fly character. So they're going to be voicing those characters. Um, few things. There's a scene where they go to something called Nostalgia Con. And there is some characters that I thought Disney did not own, like someone's cosplayed as Borat. Uh, oh. The My Little Ponies show up, all of them. Thunder and Lightning Public Service Announcement, a unicorn that has wings <laughs> is called an alicorn um aladdin makes an appearance the three little pigs make an appearance scrooge mcduck's makes an appearance so it's basically like we're gonna put whatever we want into this but it's gonna be like a looney tunes back in action style yeah. hybrid 2d3 but but it's not just gonna be 2d and real people it's gonna be 2d and 3d and also shitty 3d because there's a scene in the trailer where they go to like i can only describe it as like animations of the past alley where they're like all the bad animation is there right so like there's a dude walking into a wall there's a character played by seth rogan who is a direct like reference to the like beowulf movies that were like photorealistic but they were like a little uncanny valley there's two cats from the new shitty cats movie that are fighting each other like over a piece of garbage in this alley and, like, I didn't think that Disney could make fun of that, but I guess they are. Um, so it's it's not, like, it's called Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. But also, this movie comes out May on Disney+, Plus, so, oh, like, it's shit. almost here. <laughs> it's, it's not just a Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie. It's, like, a movie about the history of animation, but done in a tongue-in-cheek way. And it looks exceptional because it's coming out now. There's a scene where uh, he's, Chip is not in his rescue rangers uniform and then they're like quick we need a costume and he accidentally stumbles into an indiana jones <laughs> uh like booth because his outfit is a direct reference to indiana right. jones where dale's was a reference to magnum pi but now he's a two-dimensional character wearing three-dimensional clothing oh wow and it's it looks exceptional it looks looks like really good i think it's going to be good the last thing i wanted to talk about real quick is that the plot of this movie is that one of the members of the Rescue Rangers has been kidnapped, and they have to go find them. They don't say who it is, but if you watch the trailer, it's clear that it's Gadget, the female of the group. So this is something I actually knew about, um, and I was reminded of this. There is a real-world religion in the like outskirts of Russia. This is not a meme. This is not an internet joke. There's an actual religion who worship Gadget from the Rescue Rangers as their deity. 
do you think that this movie is meta enough that that's what they're doing? <laughs> That these people kidnapped the real gadget, and that's what they're playing at. I think, um, I think that's a hate crime. <laughs> I think, I think that, uh, I think, th- I I think that would be funny and right. cool. I I think there is definitely um, a gray area, right? Yeah, I, th- I think that. that. Yeah, I think <laughs> somebody might might nix that for various reasons. I just it. Everything's lining up. Oh, I, don't I hear know. you. It, I hear it, you. It looks really good. Um, I can't wait to watch it. I it you sold of, me. It came out of nowhere, dude. And like, if they if they're showing this is what I love about like, not to bring it up in the same conversation because it's an absolutely terrible movie. But this is what I loved about Space Jam Two. It was like, well, if all these characters in the trailer can show up, who else is going to show up? You know, right? Is Mickey Mouse going to be in this flick? Is Huey, Dewey, and Louie going to be in this flick? How far can we go? Clearly, we can make fun of fucking cats, 2019's cats, and we can have Roger Rabbit, which I thought wasn't, like, technically owned by Disney. Like, where else can we go? What else can we poke fun at? Oh, well, that was kind of the thing with Roger Rabbit, is they had Daffy Duck and Donald Duck. It's like, that was, like, the first time something like that happened, so I And there was, there was strict rules yeah, of like yeah. this one must talk first they can only be on screen for this long before the other one starts talking it's crazy if you look up like the because they have a Bugs Bunny Mickey Mouse scene as well right and it's super short and you're like that was interesting I guess but I think that I think we're gonna see a lot uh, less strict version of that right or right. there's potential for that um we we do have a lot more news. I you sold me. I'm yeah. excited for this. No, movie I'm done now. talking about it now. That that, yeah. that that's 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 everything that was in the trailer. I just can't. I'm I'm beside myself with like how is MC Sky Cat in this? That's crazy in this movie. Also, it put Roger Rabbit in Kingdom Hearts. Anyways, um, <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> Go watch the trailer. Yeah. It was exceptional. I hope the trailer is not the best part about the movie. I think the movie is going to be really good. What else do we got? Yeah, yeah. Is that all you want? Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, that was um, everything there was to talk about. Uh, I just let me, love when we get the original people and the original theme song. And uh, uh, let me real quick. Dinan, 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 dinan. Uh, getting breaking news from oh, from Christ. Pauline. She's sending stuff in while we're while we're on. Uh, Despicable Me Four announced by Universal Pictures. Don't they have to make three first? I is. Is, th- is, is three there not dis- out? Is there a Despicable Me three? I hopped off. I thought there was one, two, and then the Minions movie, and we were getting a new Minions movie. I think that's where my head's. And I, I don't there know. There must have been a three uh, that, I, yeah. that I missed. Okay, cool. Well, fourth is coming out. That's good. Um, now, so now there's six <laughs> movies in that universe. Yes. Yes. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Daredevil, Punisher, and other Marvel Netflix rights officially oh. uh, reverting to Disney. Yes. I uh, did I? This. Get Wait, in, so they no, so Kingpin was in I won't talk about anything else for spoiler reasons, uh, but Kingpin was in Hawkeye before the rights were up. Yeah, I guess so. That's Am very I interesting he? to me. Is she still messaging me? <laughs> she is. There is oh my god, you can say this on the chat, Pauline. Thank you. There's a three. It introduces Gru's twin brother. Oh, that's right, and he's voiced by I the didn't guy know who, that. He's voiced by of all people, he's voiced by the guy who made South Park. He's voiced by uh, Trey Parker. Oh, good, good. Yeah, <laughs> I love how she's messaging No, I me. do. Re- I do remember that. Um, yeah, you can put your you can you can, you can add to the discussion. In chat. You don't have to pretend like you're not watching. Uh, <laughs> Megamind sequel finally announced. What? Yeah, I didn't hear this. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Is that DreamWorks? Yeah, that's who makes I, that. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have it on there. I'm just. Oh, there's so much. I'm. Not, I'm not going into. I've the never articles. seen Megamind. As an adult, is it worth watching? I've never seen Megamind oh, either. Okay, then fuck it. Go on to the next news story. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> she sent it, so I was like, you know, I'll mention it. I did uh, bypass something, but I think that's video game news. Um, okay. So I'll. I'll leave it. Is uh, it the fact that we have a confirmation of Sonic the Hedgehog three, and there's going to be a Knuckles TV show? No, that I was going to mention. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. Um. Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange uh, Multiverse of Madness mm-hmm. uh, trailer released. It was cool. I did watch that. I did see it. It was. Uh, we are. G- somebody's sorry. Oh, lol. It was easier to do it over Messenger. Now I'm on chat. Okay, ah, cool. gotcha. <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome on in. Um, that trailer was nuts. 
Um, I definitely got oh, some. Oh, are we losing frames? We are not. Oh, okay. No, we're not. We're we're actually pretty solid. Um, that trailer, I definitely got some like, some like, uh, Wandavision. Like Wanda is still sort of a villain vibes from some yeah. of those scenes. Um, P- Sir Patrick Stewart's voice is in the trailer. It, I guess that's not a hard confirmation that he's playing Professor Xavier, but like. It's like, co- it's coming. Like, they, they, like, yeah. Also, when Doctor Strange is like imprisoned and he's being brought to Professor Xavier, he, he the people who are bringing in there are Ultron bots for sure. Oh, I didn't even notice. See, I have I haven't looked closely enough at this uh, at this uh, trailer yeah. yet. But no, he's he's being brought by like he's in like a space jail and the guards yeah. are all Ultron bots and the oh, warden yeah. is Professor X, I guess, or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. That movie's going to be absolutely insane. I'm sick of, like, just do the goddamn multiverse. The fact that Wong in this trailer was like, we don't know what's coming. Anyone could come. It's like, I think I know who's fucking coming. It's like it's like a bunch of cool kids. It's like a bunch of Spider-Man villains and the X-Men and Deadpool probably. Like, I th- like just come already. <laughs> I know, yeah. It, it's It's been going on a while. Um, why is this? Oh, now we're going. Now we're moving. Now our little faces are moving. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that we yeah, were we yeah. were doing fine over is here. Is phone? Yeah, I think I think it's just my phone. Okay, yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness continues to look amazing. Also coming out in May, but I can only assume <laughs> to theaters and not Oh, yeah, TV yeah, plus. yeah. It does not, you know what I'm noticing? It does not like me going over to, uh, um, yeah, it's so weird. It doesn't like me going over to look at my Facebook. Um, oh, okay. Messenger is what it seems. Um, that that seems like a clash between those two. Like if you if yeah. you went to your photos, it'd probably be fine. But Facebook Messenger has been known to do wonky stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, moving on though. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, Ghostbusters director Ivan Reitman dead at 75. He I did not died. hear about yeah. this. The original Ghostbusters. Yeah, well, I think and even this one, one. I think so, yeah. And the bad female-only one? That I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. I don't know, though. Um, I know very you little You saw the new Ghostbusters, movie. right? Oh, yeah. It was yeah, good? Yeah, me and Pauline. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. I liked it. Um, I've never seen any Ghostbusters, so. I think you would like them. I'm sure I would. It, it very, I mean, I think this is 100% intentional. Very Luigi's Mansion-esque. Uh, which Speaking of Luigi's Mansion, just today, Charlie Day said that if they were going to do a Luigi's Mansion movie, he would be down. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't going to bring it up, but Luigi's Mansion was brought up organically, so I thought I'd mention that. <laughs> I, I love I how n- it's sexy-ass Mario uh, with, um, with Chris Pratt. With Chris voice. Pratt. Uh, and then you'd have Charlie Day. He'd be a good Luigi, though. Um, well, he is being Luigi. I meant, yeah, but I meant, like, if, uh, yeah. Compared to what you think Chris Pratt's going to do with Mario? And compared to what Chris Pratt would look like live-action Mario. Like, I'm oh, just saying. I I'm, see. I'm saying I could see Charlie Day as Luigi, but then he got, he got him paired up with just, just Chris, Pratt, Chris Pratt, just like, yeah, it's it's a me, Mario. You know that the Mario movie's not live-action. No, I do. Oh, okay. No, okay. no I'm yeah, just right. saying, I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm picturing yeah, if they yeah. ever did a live-action I could see Charlie Day as Luigi. Yeah, yeah. But then, but then just picturing him paired up with, with it's just funny. Um, no, just I just do the It's Always Sunny cast. Danny DeVito as Mario, <laughs> and the woman I forget her name. Apologies as Peach, <laughs> and uh, 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 Waluigi is in, Dennis in, in um, Wario. Wario, <laughs> our Mac and Dennis. Yeah, it, no, it writes itself. Who's the Bowser? Um, <laughs> still Jack Black. Or no, who's voicing Bowser? No, yeah, it's Jack Black voicing Bowser. I don't know about that, but the waitress is Daisy. Oh my thousand god! Thousand percent, yes. Ooh, I think it w- writes itself. I think we just made a <laughs> video essay for ourselves in the near future. Um, uh, uh okay, but moving on. Uh, Knuckles TV series announced for Paramount Plus. Yeah, so I don't know about this one because they didn't say. They didn't say if Idris Elba is going to do the they did. TV sh- they did. He is doing it. Oh, confirmed, then never... Confirmed to be Knuckles. Then never mind. Then never mind. It's probably going to be great then. Okay. I, I am so happy that a lot has gone wrong lately in the world as as a whole. 
But I'm so happy we live in the timeline where the Sonic the Hedgehog movie was good. Yeah. Because it really could have not been. It could have not been. Um, I just found out about Jim Carrey because, as we all know, Jim Carrey, one, wasn't acting, and two, hates doing sequels. And now he's, like, signed on for all three Sonic movies. And Cool. Uh, I wonder what about Sonic made him... His niece is a huge Sonic fan. No and kidding. And he's doing it for her. Yeah. That's hysterical. And he says that he he likes the evolution of Eggman. He, he said he likes the evolution of Eggman, so I wouldn't be surprised if movie three we got... Even like, more. We got, like, big... Ovoid like looks like a uh, the cover of a game case Eggman. Yeah, that that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool as far as evolution goes. Um, ready for this shit? Blue's Clues movie revealed oh for Paramount Plus with all yeah, three of them. Yeah, I did hear this. Uh, I saw an image of it. It looked uh good. I guess I it's I. I thought it. I thought it looked interesting. I mean, I'm not gonna fucking watch it. One, because it's on what? Paramount. Because one, because it's on what? Paramount Plus, and I don't have that. And two, it's for preschoolers still, probably. I, Maybe I, I don't know. I am gonna watch the Blues Clues movie. I it, it, I feel obligated to watch the Blues Clues movie. I'm gonna check it out. If they have Blues Pajama Party fan service, then I'm in. No, that's a joke. Um, um, people. Rec- uh, recursive history or whatever it's called people forget that Julia Louise Dreyfus was in the original airing of the uh, Blues Clues oh Pajama yeah, Party that's right. but not subsequent uh, 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 airings and I have that on VHS um, because my mom taped it it's like No Way Home except with Blues Clues and it's blowing my goddamn mind why does it exist in t- why is it 2022 why is this happening it's so weird it's like it's like Looney Tunes back in action, except it's No Way Home, except it's Blue's Clues. I'm losing my mind. No, I'm super excited. <laughs> um, so okay, I more news on Futurama in uh, John DiMaggio. Yeah, so he opened up, right? I'm. This makes so much more sense, and I apologize for what we said last time. I should have assumed he was more gonna be more of a stand-up guy than what we were giving him credit for. Because he wants them all to be paid more. He's like, right, we've been doing right. this long enough. We've been doing this since the early 90s. Right. Or, I'm sorry, the late 90s. Pay us what we deserve. Right, no. And it, that it, I can it, respect. It really, it really shines a light on the voice acting uh, industry as a whole, where it's like, tenure does not work the way it right. does in on, other jobs. In other jobs. Other jobs. Cl- or like, even uh, actors. Right, even uh, jobs that are close by, like other acting positions, like, they should a hundred percent be making more money than they were in season three oh, or yeah. whatever. And and you got to think about the legends that they have there. I mean, right. they have Phil Lamar, they have Billy West, and they have John DiMaggio. No, they have they have three of the greatest voice actors of all time. And yeah, end of story. You give the, you pay them whatever they want, right? Or the show doesn't happen, right? And it seems like we're in a weird offshoot timeline where they didn't pay them enough, and the show is still happening. Which yeah, is a, it I, is well, one thing John DiMaggio said, s- very eerily similar to the whole Disney-Sony thing, is he was like, um, negotiations are part of this business. It's sh- it's going to happen, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't, th- the way he worded it, I feel like he hasn't given up hope yet. I think he considers all of this part of the oh, negotiations. Oh, yeah, no, I think, that, I think that if, like, tomorrow they call him up and they're like, you're right, you're going to get more money, Billy's going to get more money, he'll be like, awesome, I'm back on. Yeah. But as it stands, he's not getting enough money, and he literally was like, my co-stars aren't getting enough money either, but right. I'm no judgment I, on them. I'm right, the only right, one right. who's, like, just gonna straight up out. Going to say something about it. Yeah. Sure. Um. Marvel's Kevin Feige confirms Charlie Cox will be the MCU's Daredevil. What? Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. In in okay, sure. Yeah. That's the awesome. En- the end. <laughs> that guy's better than Ben Affleck. Um full stop. <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything well, before you I talk get about to Oh, before you get to Stranger Things. Oh, what about Lord of the Rings? Oh yeah, I just straight up it j- just dropped the ball on Lord of the Rings. Yeah, d- they, if you take it. Yeah, I mean they showed a trailer for The Rings of Power. I haven't seen it. I'm so excited. It's the most expensive TV show ever made. It it takes place I'm sure we knew this already, but it takes place before The Hobbit. Yeah. It's like a 
way flashback. The tra- also, the show is unfortunately called The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, <laughs> uh, which is a very, very clunky, tongue twistery uh, uh, title. There is a CGI person in the trailer, um, and she's on, she, I believe, is on all the thumbnails of every video, and I don't know if people are, like, I know CG people is just, like, a thing now, but I feel like, I, I feel like I'm the only one who noticed, like, no, no okay. one's talking about, like, oh, a CGI person, and I don't have an issue with it, of course, but I was just like, oh, hey, a CGI person, uh, and now her face is, like, everywhere, and I'm like, yeah, she's still not a real human <laughs> in that scene. Cli- it, when you watch the trailer, it's the person climbing the mountain in the snow. The camera's like here, and she like looks up. She's okay. completely not uh, real. I, she might have an actress in the show, but that shot it was completely CGI. Okay, okay. No, I, I, I want to check that out, and I want to check out Chip and Dale. I didn't I'm in even a weird realize the Lord of the Ring tra- uh, trailer came out. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just in a weird space where like I love. Lord of the Rings. I've said this before. I like Lord of the Rings more than I like Star Wars. I absolutely love Lord of the Rings, uh, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It could be good. It could be really good. It could also be really bad. I don't know. I'm just sitting here like, yeah, that's Lord of the Rings, all right. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna watch it, assuming I have means of watching it. Yeah, me. No, me too. I just. I really am just sitting here like, might be good, might be bad. I'll right. view it with my eyeballs. <laughs> Right. No, I hear you. Um, I didn't actually know that something happened with Stranger Things. Is there a trailer? No. 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 So listen, oh. listen to this. Okay. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Um, February 17th. I, yeah, I believe so. Uh, they put up a post. It says 001 dot Russia, period. Okay. Getting the band back together. Bring a jacket with a poster, a little picture. I, I'm not going to show you it right now because I've got more to this story. Okay. Um, I just I need to. I went on such a journey reading these comments that I okay. took screenshots of some of my favorites, and I need to share. Um, uh, so they are clearly expecting people to be hyped about this. This. I mean, and I am. Um, at I'm quoting. I'm not going to say the person, but uh, at this point, I think most of us are sick to the back teeth of vague hints in teaser trailers just want them to shut up and sod off until there's an actual release date uh, reveal. Taking two years to make... This is a new comment. Taking two years to make a single season will make these kids be pushing 30 by the time the show is done. Don't... New comment. Don't believe it until you provide a release date. Okay. New comment should be called old. Oh yeah, this one was weird. This one, t- this one took some turns. Okay, should be called older stranger, and we don't know when it's coming back on things. They stretched for that one. Um, we'll see. Netflix has been on a serious downtrend in quality lately, and even S three was mediocre. At Season best. three. Season three. Sent, it was you. not mediocre. It was the best one. Uh, it was the three. In my yeah, opinion. it was pretty good. Um, give a it dang had release my, it had date my already. In it. What are you talking about? Um, then this person, give a dang release date already. I'm sick of teasers. Three years. Yeah, I get it because of COVID, but come on. Yeah, I was going to say, can I play, what's the opposite of the devil? Can I play the angel's advocate? There was a pandemic. There was a pandemic, but none of the Boba Fett was filmed. Before the pandemic. I mean, shows have come out since the pandemic. Mm. Yeah. WandaVision and Winter ne- Soldier were post, were pre-pandemic shot, right? But Boba yeah. Fett was post. Right. Ne- and fucking Netflix has made shows since since the pandemic. So, yes, absolutely. So what do we all think the issue is? They just taken forever. They just, whatever, they're, they're not... There's no fire under their belly. I don't know what's going on. Could it be pandemic related? Probably. But what? Why is the rest of the industry able to move forward? But but like, you know, everybody in Stranger Things can't. I feel like there's got to be one of the main stars of this show has got to be like immune uh, compromised and also anti-vax. Something like that. Yeah. Whenever whenever something like this happens nowadays, I'm always like, okay, which one of them? is, like, having a serious, like, actual real-world issue yeah. with the pandemic and they don't want to film, and they're like, well, we can't do without this person, you know? Yeah, well, so this 
the plot thickens. Okay. Um, so that was, they made that post, and then, like, ten minutes later, a new post. They really think people are going to be hyped for this. Let me just continue that that storyline of... Okay. Um, zero, zero, two, dot... So, hold on. Sorry. This is how the trailers were... were they, they've had, like, four or five small teaser trailers, and they were also numbered this way. Oh, where I I don't even remember. It's been so long. Yeah, there yeah. was the one where it was like, "Here's Hopper. He's still alive." Oh, that yeah, was yeah, 001, yeah. and then 002 was something else. Yeah, that's uh, they were. This is not okay. It's weird that. Yeah, and th- uh, the lab. Period. Every story starts somewhere. Okay. Uh, whoops! I just just totally left. Um, just drop the t- trailer already. We've waited far too long. This is just the immediate comments people are throwing up there with them. Yeah. Um, I think... Uh, oh, uh, I'm going to be dead and these kids are going to be in nursing homes before this show ever comes out. Um, give me a damn date already. Uh, give us the goddamn trailer. Bring it on already. Uh, Stranger Things, the retirement year. Okay, I um, get it. I get it. They're old. I get it. I get it, commenter. Zero zero three dot Creelhouse dot TikTok dot. What? What um, the fuck did you just say? Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I just said either. And a, uh, a third new poster. Is that what's happening? There's a new poster for each of these. Yeah, everyone's got a poster. Uh, could we please have the release date, please? Um, all these cool posters. Yet people. Oh well, this guy's actually like. Come on, guys, but no, you come on. Is that not the point of, is this story, it doesn't end with them giving a release date? You'll get there when you get there, okay? okay? You have to wait the way we all waited yesterday. I don't, but okay. Release the season early, please. Early? We can't wait until summer. This person assumes it's coming out in the summer. My goodness, is this ever coming out have to freaking rewatch three to remember. Can't stand when they do this. No, you don't. I can't stand when people r- 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 <laughs> say that they need to rewatch seasons to remember. Yeah, you'll even if you even if it's not in the your the forefront of your memory, you'll you'll pick it up as you're like, watching. Like like you can do. I've done that before, and you can do it if you want, but you don't have to do yeah. it. It's like it's been so long. I must also, do it now. Recap. Every single show recaps yeah. what, what happened last season. It's almost like the recaps are tailor-made to show you exactly what yeah. you needed to... Yeah. Exactly what you forgot in order to enjoy this episode. Right. Um, 004.California, period. Hold on to your butts, brochachos. What is brochacho? I don't know what brochachos is, but that's a reference to Jurassic Park. Which Hold on to your butts? Yeah. Okay. Well... What year did Jurassic Park come out? The 90s. It was, oh, it was, that's right. Yeah, I, 93, I think, Jurassic Park. That sounds about right. Um, and they were in 83, so that's right. 10 years Ten years uh, further. Um, right. So this one, actually, I was like, oh, shit, they're losing fans. Um, I didn't think I'd see the day that I would actually lose interest with each one of these posters. This show is the only reason we've kept Netflix, and I named my dog after Eleven. But this has been so long without a release date that the window might be closing for me personally. Okay, so few issues. That guy sounds like the world's biggest Stranger Things yeah. fan. <laughs> um, Netflix not big enough. Not big enough, apparently. Uh, also, apparently, Netflix only has uh, Stranger Things. Definitely not a sequel to Knives Out coming out soon. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's exciting. <laughs> Did we talk about that on this podcast? Yeah, I, mean, I like think we, I think we second, have like the eight second trailer for Knives Out Two. Um, uh, um, uh, also like Netflix. Oh, you're has, gonna, I forgot about this. You're gonna be so mad at this next thing that I have to say. <laughs> cool. Uh, Netflix has other stuff. Oh yeah, no, like I, 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 I like. Yeah, I, I feel like Netflix has some awesome documentaries. Netflix. No, you you don't just have Stranger. You don't just have Netflix for Stranger Things. It's That's the other thing. Like, if you're if you're the world's biggest Stranger Things fan and your your claim to fame is that you only have Netflix to wait for the release of Stranger Things, delete Netflix because it's a monthly payment. And just when Stranger Things comes back on, just buy it again for right. one month and watch right. Stranger Things and then dip. Right. No, I hear you. So you clearly don't just have that one pissed me off. Are you ready? Um. Yeah, I'm ready. Every ending has a beginning. Volume. Sorry, sorry. Is this a comment or no? A this is this is this is where next post. Oh, okay. Next post. 
Uh, every ending has a beginning. Volume 1 coming May 27th. Volume 2 is coming July 1st. They're splitting the season. Okay. Just fucking release it all. What do you mean you're splitting the season? I. Every time they do that, you got to wonder why, right? Because they're not splitting it that much. It's just two months, May That's and July. That's what I'm saying. Why do you think... Why do you think that is? Just I to, actually... Do you think Netflix was like, split it so we can keep subs? The creators did write a letter that Netflix released. Okay. Um, clearing that up? Um, or... Try- Sorry. Speaking to the mic. Uh, <laughs> trying to clear some things up. I'm still left feeling the way I did at the beginning of all this debauchery. Okay. Um, <laughs> debauchery. <laughs> give me a minute. Uh, hello, nerds! Thank you for singling me out like yeah, that. Yeah, not a big fan of how that's... Th- Do you copy? Question mark. That's a reference to season three, so sure. It's been a little while. <laughs> yeah, no shit, Duffer Brothers. <laughs> uh, hold on, trying to zoom in. Because um, it's fucking long. With nine scripts, over 800 pages, almost two years of filming, thousands of visual effects shots, and a runtime nearly twice the length of any previous season, Stranger Things 4 was the most challenging season yet. Sounds it. But also the most rewarding one. Okay. One yet sentence. To be determined. One sentence, all of that, the way they wrote that it. That was out. one that sentence. That was one sentence. That's why I read it as one sentence. Good for them. Every. <laughs> Everyone involved is incredibly proud of the results, and we can't wait to share it with you. Except you. Half of it you can wait two months. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like. Um, so, first of all. Was that the whole thing? No, no, no. Oh, they, okay. That was paragraph one of five. Um, <laughs> We're not going to read the whole thing, right? <laughs> the, some of them are like two sentences. Oh, okay, uh, we okay. might. Um, but, first of all, don't give me excuses don't don't give me excuses. You you're a multi-billion dollar company. Release mm-hmm. your fucking show. I don't want to hear it. Also, if I may, I know I already commented on it, but like if we are going to categorize people as nerd and not nerd, not nerds watch Stranger Things too. Oh, like yeah. it's the most popular Netflix show. Yeah. It's not just you can't call your fan base <laughs> nerds. That's not how that works. No, but but it really feels like they're like chucks, you know? We've never done something like this before and it's like what the fuck are you talking about? Shut up. <laughs> You got you're the you make Stranger Things. Shut up. You you right because when Stranger Things imagine w- if I'm sorry, just, but just imagine if Spe- Steven Spielberg just came out and was like, "Gee, shucks, guys. I'm sorry it's <laughs> taking so long, but like, uh, it's uh, uh, you know, it's like shut up. You get you know how much money you make. No, that's the thing. Fucking because, be professional. Because str- when Stranger Things season one dropped, that was like. Netflix's whole deal, you know, like they yeah. were really taking a risk on like these the th- this like indie show <laughs> basically. Yeah. And now Stranger Things is the the most lucrative thing they have. It's we it's a weird energy to be like it, it's the it still comes off unprofessional to me. Be professional. Do you know how much money you make? I mean, I don't, but I'm right, sure you do. Right. But I know it's a hell a hell of a lot more than you deserve for taking two years off. Yeah, I was, and I get COVID happened. No, it, see, I was under the impression that this was done, and we were waiting to release until COVID, because a lot of stuff happened with that. Yeah, what, Death of the Nile comes out soon or came out last already, week. Already, I already saw it. <laughs> oh, okay, um, it was really good. That's neat. Um, uh, that was done like two years ago and just didn't release because of COVID. Right. I thought that's where we were at with Stranger Things. I guess they just showed that first teaser with Hopper fucking way too early. Yeah. yeah. And I do get it. I get... I, I wasn't... A, if it, if this show came out six months ago, I'd be yeah, like... And they were like, sorry, COVID. Yeah, sorry took... Uh, sorry six months ago it was a year and a half out before we were able to release this. But here it is. I'd be like, yeah, no, that makes sense. That's fine. We're like almost two and a half years out from the last Stranger Things thing that we got, and shows have been filmed, have been written, filmed, uh, edited, produced, like, and released. Yeah. All in the same time it's taking you to make Stranger Things. Okay, it's a bigger season than the rest of them. That's exciting. Mm. Do do better. (laughs) Do better. And also do better at giving us information. Yeah. I don't know. It it just felt kind of unpreventable, unprofessional. Given the unprecedented length, and to get it to you as soon as possible, season four will be released in two volumes. How does that make any goddamn sense? 
we're going to get it to you as quick as possible by delaying half of it. The, uh, um, volume one will be, uh, will sorry, volume one will release on May twenty seventh. Yeah, I got that information. Uh, five weeks later on July first. Um, not news. Right. So that's good news. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally the next thing that he said. It's coming. That's good news. D- period. Oh, that was that was not you editorializing. He said in his post, "That's good news." So that's good news. Period. Oh it's coming soon. Period. And it's bigger than ever. Period. Okay. The those three sentences I knew already. It's also the beginning of the end. Right. P- reading oh, again. Oh, I'm sorry. I th- I I'm not commentating. I'm I'm. I've been reading this, this. Everything thing. you've said so far was stuff I already knew, so I I took it as like, <laughs> t- I t- okay, yeah. just keep yeah. Seven years ago, we planned out the complete story arc Jesus for Stranger Christ. Things. At the time, we predicted the story would last four to five seasons. It proved too long to tell in four, but as you'll soon see for yourselves, we are now hurtling to, hur- yes, hurtling towards our finale. Season four will be the uh, penultimate mm-hmm. season. Okay. Pen- penultimate means the, the one, one before, before the last one. one. Okay. Uh, season five will be the last. Okay. Okay. Um, there, there are still many more exciting stories to tell within the world of Stranger Things and new mysteries and uh, new mysteries, new adventures, new unexpected heroes. But first, we hope that you stay with us as we finish this uh, tale of powerful. Of a tale of a powerful girl named Eleven and her brave friends, of a broken police chief and a, okay guys, they do need an editor for some <laughs> shit. Holy shit! Police chief and a ferocious mom of a small town called Hawkins and an alternate dimension known only as the Upside Down. Why did they? Why was the nutcraft at the end? Why would anyone <laughs> reading this not know about? All that stuff in the last... What's this? There's a sixth paragraph. We're announcing a Stranger Things Christmas special. <laughs> Based off of a small Based YouTube Based off of channel. a 12-view uh, YouTube video we saw once. As always, we are grateful for your patience and support. Over and out, Matt and Ross. They definitely wrote that months ago before the comments... The hate comments started rolling in. Well, that's good. Stranger Things season four is probably going to be great. Don't know why it has to be split up into two things. Uh, mixed feelings about that. It's a little sus that it's a five week gap and not like a year gap or something like that because sometimes seasons will do this and it's totally fine. You know, whatever. Every every goddamn drama show has like a mid season finale or whatever. Right. So it's not. And then that we and then you talk long enough, you get into the little witch academia conversation of like they're holding episodes hostage. That's clearly not what's happening here. I don't understand how they have the audacity to say we're getting it to you as quick as possible. Clearly, that is not the case. Right? Uh, people, the universe has play tested this enough. People do not like when you do this to seasons of television. Just release the whole thing on July first, if truly that's when everything's going right. to be finished. There's no way which would actually fall in line with their release order, except it's right. just two years late. <laughs> right? Which there's no way. That episodes, whatever, 8 through 16 or whatever the fuck, aren't completely finished five weeks before release. Right. That's insane. If that's yeah. if they're like, we need five weeks to finish up CGI. Ed- no, that's not, that's not t- enough time. That's not enough time to do anything to that show other than cut promos for it. Right. It's going to be good, though. No, it's going to be good. <laughs> it's it's going to be good. I just hate how they kind of, um, they excused us. To death, they were like, ah, oh, but you know, like it's hard making a show, and it's like, well, yeah, that's why you make a lot of money. Mm. Fucking make the show. Yeah, they. It's not just that they excused us to death, as you said. They they like, they hyped us up. They overhyped us because there was trailer one, and then like months later there was trailer two. I think there was five of them, and now this poster shit that assu- uh, it sounds like happened all in one day, but still, it's like, get ready, get ready, get ready. It, our announcement kind of sucks, but it, it's here now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's that's odd. That's odd. Weird taste in my mouth for Stranger Things now. Still gonna, still gonna watch it. I didn't know that they. I really 
didn't know that they had everything planned from the beginning. I really got the impression that they were writing this on a yeah, season-to-season same. basis. Because season one had big, like, first act, second act, third act, and we're done. Maybe we'll get a second season. And then the second season was kind of bad. And then season three, I really got the sense that it was like, oh, they've they've learned what's good and what's bad from season one and two. Now we have season three, which, in my opinion, and I think you said in your opinion, is the best one of the three. I it, honestly, it's been so long since I've watched through that I yeah, you're gonna have to rewatch watch them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, um, I'm gonna have to rewatch them. Um, got a got a cute little emoji from Hypno. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, Hypno is still here, or maybe he's back and lurking again. Yeah. Uh, regardless, thank you for being here. We appreciate yeah. you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm obviously, s- obviously, without question gonna watch it still and probably enjoy the fuck out of it it's got maya hawk in it but (laughs) um it this is weird this is weird this is a weird thing they chose to do a weird time they chose to do it because there's a lot of as you just saw there's a lot of news happening a lot of we didn't even talk about obi-wan's coming out in may we didn't the reason we didn't talk about that is because that was the announcement you know like yeah any other news day we talk about that for a few minutes but like there was no trailer there we just know that it's coming out in may which is really cool that soon we should get a trailer probably tomorrow or some shit it's um su- supposedly there's been two alternate um theories not theories but people are like it's coming out this date it's coming out this date some think it's coming out may 4th well yeah but but fuck that May 25th is 45 years to the day that we saw Obi-Wan Alec Guinness yeah. for the first time in A New Hope. I did hear this. I think you might have told Maybe. me Maybe. That's really that would be, really, be cool. really cool. Because <laughs> this this story I assume is going to be the the progenitor to that. This is going to be how we got from a uh right. We got from Revenge of the Sith to A New Hope. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe that doesn't happen in one season, but you know that's that's where it's going. That's that's where it's headed. Um, God, I am excited for that show. I I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that I'm excited for that show because it doesn't exist to me right. yet. Because there, there's no trailer. There's there's no not only I don't want to be that kind of person. Like th- there's no trailer, but also like it's just like it was a rumor for a while, and now it's yeah. real, and now it's being made. It was a fan poster for a while. Right. It was a fan poster that people believed was real. I remember that. Th- I, and that fan poster also had a Boba Fett show that people were like, we don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm more excited about that than anything else coming out this year. I um, think I'm the most excited for Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. No, that's fair. I, I, I could tell. I, I got that. I was, I'm so hyped for that that I forgot that Doctor Strange existed, <laughs> my, my guy. I am so all in on... <laughs> Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, the movie. Um, let's have a brief, our first ever Goop News segment. <laughs> yes. Because something has happened. I think that's a podcast, too, after that. I think, yes. I think that's everything Everything we could do. Um, so I don't want to hype it up too much. This isn't as crazy as some of the other bullshit that they've done. But this one does feature actor of stage and screen, Gwyneth Paltrow. So, you've seen this, I believe, or I, heard of this. I kn- yeah, I know that it happened. There is a, an Uber Eats Super Bowl ad, and the structure of this ad is Uber Eats is going to deliver other stuff now that's not food. To showcase this, they had very famous people in probably their actual homes ordering things from Uber Eats that aren't food and then unsuccessfully trying to eat them. So, for example, there was a scene of Trevor Noah, the host of The Daily Sh- the Daily Show. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. The host of The Daily Show, Trevor Noah, ordering deodorant, and he goes, well, it's from Uber Uber Eats. It must be food. He takes a bite of actual deodorant, and he's like, oh, God, oh, it's gross. There's a scene. There's a scene in this commercial where Gwyneth Paltrow takes... A goddamn bite out of a this smells like my vagina candle. And here's what she says. There's a cutaway for comedic effect, right? Cutaway to a different scene. So she says, this candle tastes weird. Cutaway, cut back. And she says, not bad, but weird. Now let's dive in. So you and I have discussed eating candles before extensively. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's a whole part of my life that I forgot. You and I have talked about eating candles. 
There is no way. I don't care what your candle fucking smells like. There's no way that it tastes like that. There's no, no way. If I it's going to taste like wax. It's going to taste primarily <laughs> like wax. Maybe, like, you get a pineapple cilantro candle, the best candle on planet Earth. It's going to taste probably 15% like pineapple cilantro and 85% <laughs> like candle wax. So I, 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 get, I get that the dialogue is a joke on the flavor of the thing that we're talking about. But, like, I can't s- help but sit here and say that that's not how candles work. Like, I get the sentiment. Yeah. I guess. But I don't. It not. There's. Also, she. There's three vagina candles, yes. right? There's yes. this smells like a vagina. This smells like my vagina. And the hands off my vagina. The hands off my vagina one was for a ch- charity. Yeah. It was just a normal ass candle. The other two supposedly smell like genitalia. And the wording of the, this has never been confirmed, but the wording on the candle makes it seem like that this smells like a vagina candle is the general flavor yeah. of uh, female genitalia. But the, this smells like my vagina one is Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. And that is the one she chose to eat on camera. Didn't know she was allowed to do that. Didn't know that the people at Uber Eats would like someone at Uber Eats was like saw the design doc for this commercial and was like, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I just had the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> then she commented on it. Mm-hmm. She like, mm-hmm. yeah, she had dialogue in the in the trailer in the commercial. I think it would have been better for everybody, including the viewer, if she just did it no dialogue. Well, I actually saw this commercial on TV. I saw the thirty second version, and in that version, she takes a bite of it and she goes and that's it but in the minute long version that i looked up to make sure that i wanted to see exactly which candle it was yeah uh but she had dialogue and the dialogue was you know the dialogue i went over and it has very interesting implications Uh, yeah i'd say and i guess in the in the fiction of the trailer where all these celebrities are idiots who don't know how food work we're supposed to Forget the fact that candles are made out of wax, and if you were to bite into one, you would taste wax first, and then maybe sugar cookie. <laughs> maybe the thing that the 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 candle is supposed to taste like. You and I did not take a bite out of Catherine's candle, but we definitely <laughs> talked about taking a bite out of Catherine's candle for what felt like and was probably 45 minutes. Um, I came up, I decided oh. of my own opinion that the best way to consume a candle if you were to would to be to grate it over some pasta yes that that's right that is the conclusion we came to um but this woman actor of stage is greek with paltrow uh founder of goop.com uh, called goop because most uh b- large companies have two o's in them she was told so it's called goop <laughs> um she took a bite of her own <laughs> c- candle that is suppo- I think is supposed to s- smell, and I guess now taste, like a vagina. Hers. Her, her own vagina. That one. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I have to say, knowing what I know about this woman, this is not the weirdest thing she has done with no. her genitals. No. <laughs> with her own genitals. Uh, definitely not. I think she did. We. I didn't watch this show, but she is like, Three or four goop shows on Netflix. I'm sure one of them's about explicitly this. <laughs> but the real deal? But the real, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I was like, so many things happened this week in pop culture news that I was like, oh, I've got to talk about, I've got to make sure we talk about this on the podcast. Um, I think that was our longest news segment ever. Yeah, po- quite possibly. Um, but this, this shit, I was just like, my first reaction was, how could they? How dare they do this? And then my second reaction was, this is obviously a good idea for a commercial. Everyone knows the memes. Everyone knows what's up with this brand. It is interesting that they... It would have been funnier if they got someone else <laughs> to do it, and it wasn't her. But it is made a little... Not funnier, but a little like better, more authentic, that it is her eating her own bullshit. Um, it's just... I. I was in disbelief. <laughs> um, so that's the end of our podcast. I do have uh, – I didn't think I was going to do a goop today because the Valentine's gift guide is over. Right. Uh, so instead we did this. I do have – I want to tease. I have a brand new goop unrelated segment that I want to try. Sure. 
because we can't do goop every single week. Uh, we have been because the Valentine's Day gift guide was a font of uh, content, a uh, font tent, if you will. But <laughs> um, I do have a, I do have another segment that I want to try out that I think we're gonna do uh, next week. Um, but that'll do it. Uh, YouTube outro first. That'll do it for us uh, on the Thunder and Lightning podcast. Thank you so much for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube when it airs, uh, there's a, a live version of this that you missed a week ago. And if you're listening to this at the moment it comes out, we'll be live again in like four, four and a half hours-ish. Um, live at 5 Eastern Standard, excuse me, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday is the podcast, and then, excuse me, sorry, as soon as I start uh, promoting stuff, I get all burpy. Uh, there's also two other streams, Wednesday and Sunday. They have their own things, but the podcast one is on Friday. Uh, thank you for watching regardless, uh, and until next time, I've been Thunder. I'm Lightning. And we'll point at the camera. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Our channel has daily uploads from podcasts, video essays, let's plays to skip. Be sure to watch on Twitch. We stream all our video game and podcast content live at 5 ESD every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Our intro is by Brad Kendrick and music by Froggy and the Friendship. Link to all that in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.